Hi, this is Greg Vaught. I'm a VNA product planning engineer from Roden Schwartz. And I'm Matt Burns, technical marketing manager at Samtech. We're at DesignCon 2022, and today we're showing the Roden Schwartz ZNA43 Vector Network Analyzer, and we are testing the Samtech Nova Ray IO cable system. Greg, I'm looking forward to learning about the ZNA43 in just a minute, but I want to tell our, our viewers uh, a little bit about Nova Ray, if that's okay. The Nova Ray setup emulates ASIC to front panel applications in addition to having a, a DAC uh, on the front panel. Specific to this demonstration, when we look at Nova Ray coming from what we're calling the ASIC on the demo, we have roughly six inches of twin axe cable going from Nova Ray to Nova Ray IO on the front panel. Then we attach to our Nova Ray panel connector via a two meter long DAC and then going back through six inches of Nova Ray uh, cable uh, going back to the ZNA43. Can you give us some more details about what we're actually measuring today, Greg? Yeah, sure, Matt. One of the key things you need to do when you're testing a cable system like this is to be able to de-embed the test fixture that we're using with our cables from the overall results. So we don't want to be measuring the fixture plus our cable that we're testing. So what we can do on our ZNA43 is we've got our new de-embedding assistant. So I can launch that by pressing the de-embedding assistant button. And we've got two steps we got to go through on the first screen we are showing a description of the device under test. In this case, we've got a balanced input and a balanced output. And then we've got our left and right fixture, or our A and B fixtures. So we have, in this case, a balanced lead in and a balanced lead out for our fixture. With that description, we move on to the second step, which, to, which is to provide the measurements that the de-embedding algorithm needs. So the first measurement is our coupon measurement. So we're doing a balanced symmetric 2x through coupon, which is like a calibration standard. And then in the second step, you make a measurement of the full structure, which is our cable plus our fixture. From those two measurements, we can extract just the cable's response. And once we get out of our de-embedding assistant, then we are, get a full suite of results, as you can see. Another key SI performance metric that we like to look at when evaluating the performance of an interconnect system like Nova Ray I.O. is insertion loss. When looking at the results from 0 to 40 gigahertz, we see a nice flat insertion loss response that goes from 0 to 30 dB across the entire frequency range. What this helps us see is that when we have a Nyquist at 28 gigahertz for our 112 GPM4 performance, that we, we have a clean uh, eye signal across the entire frequency range. Matt, you said it perfectly, and as you can see, we are able to measure all of your frequency domain, time domain, eye diagram parameters. So that concludes our demonstration. Thank you. And for more information, please visit www.rody-schwartz.com. And for more information on Samtech's Nova Ray I.O. cable system, please visit samtech.com slash Nova Ray dash I.O. Greg, it was nice talking with you today. Thanks you for too, the demonstration. Matt. Thank you.